Okay, so um, let's just look at something else we can do here over the same chord changes. Um, we're going to look at the one, the one major seven, and the one dominant <clears throat> in terms of single notes at a time. Um, triads or arpeggios uh, are the words for it. So we're going to look at this shape. So here's your, you know, here's a D major triad. We've talked about this before in some of the other other exercises we've done. So it's the one, the three, the five, and the one again. So I'm going to just choose, um, instead of going to the one twice, I'm just going to start on the third. Okay, and so for the, the one chord, I'm just picking an arbitrary pattern. Then, picking pattern, I mean. So then when I go to the seven, the major seven, I'm going to drop this root down. Okay, and then when I go to the dominant chord, that's the one note you want to change. So you can try this pattern. And it really gets at what notes are changing. You know, we could take this pattern and bring it up higher if we want. a G chord. So, um, and this, this last little pattern was the same thing, if you look at this pattern here, same thing up, up an octave. This is a D and this is a D. So, if that starts a D triad, you can start a D triad there as well. So, this is a way of moving through the chords but without, without the tremolo, but with, a, you know, soloistic properties, you know.